I'm Uncle Mike Mike, your favorite gamer's favorite uncle, and we are here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on the Xbox Series S. Going to do a flight down in Switzerland here in the Yonkers 52. This is a sightseeing trip that is popular in Switzerland in the Yonkers 52, and since we got the Yonkers 52 in the flight sim, Figured I'd go ahead and do this flight. We are in Hotel Bravo, Hotel Oscar Tango here. And just beautiful scenery here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on the Xbox Series S. I went ahead and got all the engines started and running up and warming up and all of that just because it's a pretty good process to get this tri-motor started and running. But we're down here in Locerno, Switzerland, going to head north through these beautiful mountain valleys up to Dubendorf Air Base. And so with that, let's go ahead and taxi and let's go. We're going to be taxiing uh, over here to runway 26, I think it is, and taking off to the west, but then turning east to go up the valley here over the town. I went ahead and turned on all the points of interest for the cities and the landmarks and all that. So you can see that in the video as we are going. So parking brakes off and let's go ahead and get some power going on here. <coughs> With these three big old radials. And just slow taxi here to, to our runway. Now this Lucerno Air Base here, it actually has a asphalt runway, but then over here to the left, it's actually got three grass runways. But since they're less than 3,000 feet, what we are gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and, whoop, get a little fast here. We are gonna go ahead and taxi to the asphalt runway. Already dialed in some flaps, so we are just pretty much ready to taxi. Done my run up and everything else, so we are ready to go here right from parking. So we'll just taxi out here. Now I have flown the Yonkers 52. I actually flew it with a another flight simmer. We flew in formation on his channel and all that, which was a lot of fun because it's just a, a really slow, docile airplane. But we've got everybody on board. This is a full flight of sightseers. That's really what this flight is all about, is really just the beautiful sights because the plane flies, you know, really slow, about like 100 knots, something like that, 110 knots. We're going to be pretty much climbing the whole way out because we've got a mountain pass to go over at about halfway through the flight, which is very scenic. Up there, there's a, a kind of a national, not national, natural, formation up there called Martin's Eye, I think, or something like that. Martin's Lock, Martin's Eye, Martin's Hole, something like Martin's Window, something like that. That's real famous. Hikers go up there. There's actually like a restaurant and stuff up on this mountain pass. So, but we are going to fly up the valley here. As soon as we get down here, like I said, we are ready to go. So we are not going to do a run up or anything like that. We've already done that. I've done that off. Uh, recording here to get the plane ready to go so you didn't have to see all of that it's you know it's not it's a two-hour flight or something like that where we're heading so all right here we are we're getting up here runway two six right and the reason why we're at two six right because there's grass there's also grass runways all right so we go ahead and put the parking brake on come in the cockpit here you can see that it's a pretty busy cockpit. I've already got a notch of flaps ready to go. It looks like final is empty, so we are ready to go. So it's gonna be pretty much a standard takeoff, but let's go ahead and just check everything. Fuel is very interesting to look at the fuel level. It's out there on the wing, so fuel is out there. We got about half tank over there. <coughs> Looks to be about a half a tank out there. So there we go, we good there. So let's check that off. All right, uh, brakes and controls. Let's go ahead and just make sure that everything is flippering and everything the way it should be. Yep, looks good there. So that's off the jet. 
trim let's go ahead and just dial in some trims flaps we've already got set magnetos and systems this is all vfr visual flight rules and all that and i've already checked the magnetos before we did that carb heat and let's just go ahead and check and make sure this has actually got temperature gauges for the carb heat so as you can see right there so we can actually go ahead and Break these a little warmer, get them right in the middle of the green. This is very interesting for this airplane. So there we go, nice carb heat. We'll check those periodically, so carb heat looks good. Like I said, all VFR, we don't worry about radios or anything like that. Transponder, it all, all set. Lights, let's go ahead and check our anti-collision. Wing is on, taxi is on. Landing lights are on. We'll probably just keep everything on because, like I said, in these valleys, we want as much anti-smash as we can get. So, so lights, good. Uh, short runway here, so we're going to make sure that we're generating power before we go. We're going to take out most of the runway. It's going to be just a nice, easy takeoff, but we do have grass at the end of the runway. So if we are not at flying speed, really almost by the numbers on the other side, then we'll just abandon the takeoff and we will land straight ahead into the grass. We get anything other than that then we'll probably go straight ahead there's some water straight ahead if we get to a thousand feet or so then we'll think about coming back but pretty much we're going to be pick, picking something within 30 degrees left or right so and we're ready to go take off so there we go takeoff checklist is complete brakes coming off power's coming in they're pretty slow here for the old engines to spool up this is not a instant responder kind of airplane so we're gonna have to really fly ahead of the airplane here of what of what we want it to do what's that tail wheel on those lights kick it around here Line up and wait. Let's go in the cockpit. Full power's coming in. Let everything spool up. RPM's coming in. <coughs> As old gal, these old radials, even though it's been retrofitted here, and we're looking good. I like what we see. Breaks off. And we're rolling. Airspeed's alive. Outer dial of the airspeed indicator there is in kilometers per hour. Inside one is not, so airspeed is alive. 4 <laughs> we are we got about half fuel but we are full of passengers here on this sightseeing trip so the thing is looking good we're clearing the trees it's gonna climb on up here get to some good flying speed get some good height and we'll think about bringing in that one notch of flaps Like I said, not a not a an aircraft here that's known for its speed, right? So, all right, flaps are coming up, and looking good. Flaps are up. Like I said, taking off here to the west, and we're about to start our 180 degree turn back to the east, <coughs> up the valley here. And for about that 150 kilometers an hour there on the we're going to go ahead and try to call that our v ref here 150 kilometers an hour you can see it right there on the airspeed indicator i'm a little faster than that but that's all good and safe we're climbing out here at about 500 that's like what 500 meters per per minute instead of feet per minute because that's that might be in feet per minute 
and there's Lucerno out the at 11 o'clock where we just took off now we're just gonna fly up into the valley here beautiful flight I've I've flown other airplanes out here and the glider and all that kind of stuff here in Switzerland it's just beautiful beautiful scenery but I'm still usually mostly trying to explore North America so looking good here as we just climb out all of the little villages and city of Switzerland like I said I have turned on the points of interest so you can follow along if you want with all of these little villages and towns okay, so we're gonna be in a, just a steady climb here because like I said about halfway we're gonna get to this mountain called so Sosto and it's kind of just a mountain all by itself looks like a like a tooth and there we've definitely got to have some altitude because we're going to go over a mountain pass and then after that we've got a, <clears throat> another mountain pass at about mm, nine nine thousand feet or so so we're going to just continue the climb up here i'm going to do that really actually by our speed so right now we're doing like 160 kilometers an hour i'm just going to try to maintain that and then whatever whatever climb rate we get that's what we're gonna get and that's what we're gonna do so but here is hotel bravo hotel oscar tango that's a pretty cool uh, designation <laughs> hb ha we're just climbing out here in the yonkers 52 tri motor with a little bit of wind and stuff especially when you get in the mountains you might get some updrafts and so you might get a little bit of turbulence as we're climbing out here but everything is looking good in the neighborhood <laughs> and we're about to make we're gonna go over the city here we're about to make a turn to the left there at about 11 o'clock out the front windshield <coughs> i am flying completely on the sticks here getting a little fast we probably get a little bit get better climb going is the town of Giobiasco. Been to Switzerland, but don't and been to this part of Switzerland. This is southern Switzerland. And we are basically just going almost north through these mountain valleys to get to northern Switzerland. Get up there to Dubendorf, which I think is up by Zurich. So that's what we are doing. Pianezzo. Pianezzo. The town of Pianazzo. Some landmarks over here at 11 o'clock that we'll pass over. And now we're starting our turn up here into this mountain valley. Still a little fast, so we can pull the nose up, continue our climb. But you can see, I mean, it's just beautiful scenery. You can see the, in like in real life, the flight, why you would take a flight like this in a historic airplane, whether it be retrofitted or not for modern avionics and so on, but just stunning scenery. Everything is looking good. Looking over at the carb heats there, everything is Looking good, speed. Like I said, we're just climbing up here, passing through 3,000 feet. Some landmarks down there. Some castles. The Castillo Grande. The Castillo de Montebello. And the Castillo di Sasso Cobaro. So you can look all those up in real world if you want to. <laughs> but we are continuing to climb here. We are going to go up to this canyon now here at 10 o'clock. This is the valley that we are going to take. And so this is the this is the uh, flight path of the scenic flight that is done by. You know, Yonkers 52s in Switzerland, so 
I think it's like Yonkers Air, right? Yon, Yon Air, y U, U Air, I don't know, J U Air, Yonkers Air. So. Look at that beautiful valley, though, these little villages and towns in it. Ginaska. Up we go. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of an external view here so you can see the scenery. I mean, that's the whole point of the of the flight here because i don't fly with all of the avionics or the hud on in these views so i gotta switch back and forth so i can see how i'm doing <laughs> back in the cockpit casero all these look at this beautiful scenery wow i mean in real life this has got to just be amazing to do right in this historic airplane is beautiful Beautiful scenery. Wow. I mean. Hmm. <clears throat> Just climbing up here still. Not not much. Like I said, using speed for actual our our climb right here. So I'm a little fast. Let's go ahead and pull that nose up. Get back to about <coughs> excuse me, five hundred feet per minute or so. Look at that airbase. Look at that. Look at that approach. Lodrino Airbase. You can't go left or right in this approach. Wow, that'd be that would be very interesting to look up. I mean you have to look up and see if they've got ILS and what kind of instrument approach that they've got. That would be a fantastic approach. Can you imagine though that dark, bad weather? Hoo -hoo -hoo. You know that there's these mountains that will kill you. <laughs> If you uh, veer too far left and right or try to do a 360 before a 180 or whatever turn before you get enough altitude. Woo. It's beautiful right now, but they can be scary. <laughs> Continuing our climb up here. Speed looks good. Everybody's in the back just taking all these fantastic photos. And there's... Hotel Bravo, Hotel Oscar Tango, just climbing up here. Beautiful, beautiful model here in Microsoft Flight Simmers of this Yonkers 52. Like I said, I wasn't really sure about which flight to use it for until, until I found this company that does these sightseeing flights. It's like a two-day trip. You fly from, you know, Zurich, basically. You fly down south here to Lucerno, and I think you spend the night and all this kind of stuff, and then you return the next day, and that's what we're doing. We're doing the next day flight, so or the second day flight, which is a different route. So they didn't come this way. I think they're a little bit more to the west. So. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Look at these mountains though. These Swiss Alps. Still doing 160. Let's see if I hit. Okay, that will zoom in. Okay. I'm pretty sure with this retrofit, it's probably like feet per minute, I think. <coughs> so we're just cruising along here, climbing at like 85 knots, 160 or so kilometers an hour. Making sure, what are we, what's our altitude right now? Altitude is 5,500, so we just gotta continue this climb up. Like I said, we really need to get to about 9,000 to be, to be really safe for the whole flight, so. Look at 
looking good just keep that keep that climb coming it's gonna get as we get higher and higher it's gonna get worse and worse so we need to get everything that we can out of this <clears throat> at least for that first pass once we get to this mountain called so so sosto 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 s o s t o sosto it's very distinct mountain so i'll we'll be able to point it out i don't know if it's going to be labeled as a landmark but it's it's a very distinct mountain in the area look at these valleys though i mean look at this mountain right right off the nose here i mean As you say, I never really thought that Switzerland was 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 like this. You know, this is flying the glider. You need to get the glider in here. All right, nose is down a little bit. Need to bring that nose back up and get that climb going. <laughs> Got a big mountain right in front of us. Got snow on top of it. So we know that's a tall mountain that we're passing through 6,000 feet remember we're trying to get to nine eventually we got to get to nine I think we need to be about 8,000 for this this first pass here that we're gonna come up to around the bend straight off the nose here yeah, you can actually start to see the Sosto mountain it's right above the, the cockpit out there it's like the cinder cone that kind of just sticks up. And we're going to actually be making, after we pass that, we're actually going to be making a right turn around it, going over a lake, and then up over a pass. So go ahead and just keep on climbing here. <laughs> Getting into some wind, it looks like, because <clears throat> some downdrafts. And we're just actually getting higher, so... Just losing just losing performance here I'm not sure about leaning it out if it will gain any performance so we can come down here a little bit and actually see if we can lean this out a little bit and get a little bit more performance out of the engines Might be getting a little bit more RPMs by leaning it out. Not much, but. <laughs> 160 kilometers an hour. We're just continuing our climb here as best we can. But straight off the nose there, you can kind of see that mountain that's all by itself, not the white cap, but the one in front of it. That is Sosto or Sosto. So I'd like to be at, like to be above 9,000 feet when we get when we get to right there. But we'll see. Can't really squeeze him. I got the props full, leaned out for full throttle so we got full manifold pressure we got so it's just uh with all this with the fuel we've got half tanks <clears throat> got about we got all full passenger i think 17 passengers in the back there's a total of 20 of us here on the airplane even though they don't model passengers when you add their weight so looking good though looks like we're coming up on 7,000 feet Yep, 6,600 right now. Give us a little bit more time to climb, so I'm going to go ahead and turn just a slight to the left here. And we'll put <clears throat> that mountain of Sosto at about 1 o'clock off the nose. But again, that's what we want. We want to turn to the right around Sosto, so... We're gonna go right up that valley, right in front of the cockpit there, right above the cockpit, and then right around Sosto, which is that tooth-looking mountain right there.
Coming up on 6,800, but continuing our climb here at about 300 feet per minute. I mean, she's an old bird. Come on now. Give her the benefit of the doubt. She's an old bird. She's old Yonkers 52. <coughs> yeah, we've retrofitted her and all that kind of stuff, but, you know. That little old bird here with the radial engines and all that. Coming up here on 7,000 feet, so I'm liking that. Look at this. Look at these little villages nestled down here in these in these mountain valleys. And there, right there, that non-treed <laughs> mountain right there, that is Sosto. All right, 7,000 feet. <coughs> A little bit of wind action now. Little clouds, not going to be worried at all about about the cloud. There is Sosto now, right there. You can see it's barren. You'll really be able to see as we pass by it. And then make this turn up to Lake... Luzon, Luzano, Lu, Lu, Luz, Luzana, Luzana maybe, that's how it is, I don't, but there's a lake on the other side here of the mountain, we're going to be flying over that lake and then making a turn to the left, I think that's what it is, if I look over here on my VFR path here, yep, then turn, once you get past the lake, and then that's where we're going to go up and over a mountain pass, and then still just kind of work our way up to about, about 9,000 feet or so. I know that will that will clear us, but we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll watch it here. So, seven thousand two hundred and fifty. Let's continue the climb. So there is Sosto. Now we're passing. You can see this very distinct with its cliff on this on the western shore, or then the western side with Campo Campo Bellino at its base here. But there is Sosto. Oh, we're in the descent. We might have got some wave action here some with the wind, so let's get that nose back up. <coughs> there you go. There is Sosto. And there's the lake. Lake, I think it's Luzona, Luzana, Luzer, something like that. I don't know. It's, it's a lake. <laughs> it's an alpine. Literally, it's an alpine lake. So, All right, let's go ahead and start our turn here. Yeah, we've lost we've lost our climb here. We'll see how this goes. Seven thousand five hundred. Oh, now we're in the descent. Let's go ahead and get that nose back up. There is the lake. We're going to be going right up that direction, right above, right above the nose there. There we go. I can start to see our path at just off here at 11 o'clock. You can see the mountain pass we're going to fly through. It's going to be a little, it's going to be a little sketchy. <laughs> just checking everything. Okay, we got a good, we got some wind here. We got some wave action or something giving us some a climb here back to almost 500 feet per minute we're at our v ref of 150 or actually it's not our v ref it's actually our dmms our our defined or designated minimum maneuvering speed is 150 kilometers an hour or so and here we go we're passing passing the lake <laughs> beautiful flight wow and here's our pass you can see it we're going right through here. You can see, you can see how we're gonna, how we're gonna do this here. There actually is like a hotel. I don't know, but right there you can see it right off the left nose there, and you can look that up. That's actually in Switzerland. I mean, think about, think about staying up here. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that view. Look at the view. <laughs> amazing. All right, go ahead and continue our climb. We're almost to 8,000 feet. We've definitely got the pass made here, so. Oh, I'm a little, I'm slow. I'm, I'm below DMMS, so that's not good. So let's go ahead and get that nose down. 
Let's get some speed back up. Might lose a little bit. And we're about... Uh, we lost a little bit of altitude here, so... Let's go ahead and accelerate. There we go. DMMS. We're back in a little bit of a climb. Back to 8,000. But here we are. Look at this. Look at this. Amazing. Ha <laughs> ha. You, I can't imagine that you're on this airplane, this historic airplane, in this beautiful, amazing country in the Alps of Switzerland. We're on DMMS. Everything is looking good in the neighborhood. We're just going to follow this stream here, and then we're going to make a, a turn here to the left and go right down that valley that's out the left window here. It's got this uh, rock structure here. Give everybody in the back a nice, nice view. They can be snapping all their photos and being like, oh, my God, it's amazing. Look at this. It's amazing. Ho, ho. And there's back there just taking their look at this look at this look at this valley oh, look at that now that is amazing but again just thinking about being in real life in this historic airplane beautiful scenery taking photos having this like weekend trip that is amazing All right, we're at 8,200, so we're going to need to nurse this thing up to, you know, we're about 9,000 feet. I think we've got it. We've got some excess speed, so we're not, right now, it looks like we're at 170 kilometers an hour, so 20 above DMMS in a slight climb, so I think we're good here. Because now the real pass is coming up over here by Martin's Eye, Martin's Window, Martin, it's, it's called Martin's Lock. I think that means like Martin's Hole, Martin's Window, Martin's Eye. It basically is a place where if you hike up to it at certain parts of the year, the sun shines right through the hole that's in this cliff cliff face. So I've seen pictures of it, and it, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> so. All right, we got some nice altitude here, so we're going to go ahead and cut the corner here for... No reason to fly straight ahead into the valley. We'll just go ahead and cut the corner. Give everybody on the right side some some nice photos as we just climb over. And as we've got enough altitude, we'll just climb over this here. I'm sure everybody just having a great time taking pictures, smiling. Having... Amazing time. We're well above DMMS in our slight climb again, so everything is everything is a okay. All is good in the neighborhood. Hotel Bravo, Hotel Oscar Tango is treating us right. We come into just another. This is a much wider, it's not as deep and distinct valley, but it is. Equally amazing. All right, we'll hold here at about 8,500 feet as we traverse down this valley here. A little bit of light clouds, but nothing to be concerned about. I can actually see through them, so we're still VFR. Plus, we got all of our anti smash lights on and all that. We'll go ahead and level off here at about 8,500 feet. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. You can see the roads and trails going up the mountains. I'm, I'm so glad I decided to do this flight. 
my thumb's gonna be a little tired because I have to fly it. It's got trim, but uh, it maybe something wrong with a little bit with the flight model or something. But full full elevator trim nose up, and uh, it can't it can't hold this. So I'm actually having to fl literally still fly it, even though I've got the trim all set for uh, for pitch. So. But we're looking good here, 175 or so. We're kind of get our climb back to 8,500 as we are just just a beautiful flight here. We're gonna come down here by a little town of Films. It, so it looks Films, and then we're gonna make a turn since we're heading really kind of east here, or at least the eastern component. Once we get it's off the nose, off in the distance there, we're going to be making a turn to the left and the north because we've got to go. The pass is out there at about 11 o'clock there, and that's why we want to just go ahead and maintain as best we can here, about 8,500. we got a little bit of wind and, like I said, wave action from the wind, so sometimes it pushes us up, sometimes it pushes us down. <laughs> so it looks like we just went through one of the ones that pushed us down, so I'm going to go ahead and bring... That nose up, use some of my energy to go ahead and climb back to 8,500. Nice, beautiful time of day here, kind of late afternoon. Late afternoon, sun back there. There is the Yonkers 52. We're just following this, following this valley here. There's Flan, the, the village of Flan. And out over, out over there is our pass, right off the nose up there is where we're gonna go, the low spot. <laughs> that's why we're gonna go over that pass, because this is the low spot in the mountains. And that's also up there with the this like uh, it's really like this big cliff face and that's where the hole is through the cliff face and that's Martin's lock or Martin's eye Martin's window Martin's hole something something like that but it's called Martin's lock Martin's so M A R T I N S lock L O C H so Martin's lock so All right, a little bit of clouds, but it looks like the pass is going to be pretty clear. But I can still see through the clouds, so I'm not too concerned about that. Speed looks good. Altitude looks good. All the performance looks good. Carburetor heat and all that looks good. Fuel looks good. All right, we are back. Just uh, found out Aunt Cindy had a biopsy done on a thing on her nose and it is cancerous so now she's got to go in and have more of it cut out so once we finish this flight go give her a go give her a hug <laughs> all right so here we are uh one of these towns i'm pretty sure is this films i say i'm a little i'm a little flustered now so mersh 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 sect A little bit of a descent. Let's go ahead and change our speed for some altitude here. <coughs> yeah, that's our right up there is our pass. That's where we're going. We're about to make a we're about to make a left turn here. We're gonna need to get a little bit of altitude. I just want to confirm that that yep, there's films or flims flims. I thought it was films flims. Makes more sense now. Flims. But we are going to turn. Yep, there's the base. You can see that point coming into view right, right in the center of the screen. That point, that's the ridge. And then there's Martin's Lock. And we're going to go just to the right of that over the pass. So we are going to climb up here and go ahead and use some of our speed to get some climb going again.
there you can see that point that's right off the nose right off our window right in the center of that is the ridge that's got Martin's lock in it so I'm just gonna go ahead and <coughs> keep a climb going We go, got a little bit of a climb. Again, we're just gonna go right over that pass. No problem, give everybody a nice view of Martin's Lock, get the pictures, get the pictures off here. I don't even know if Martin's Lock is actually gonna be, I, I doubt that a little, well it's not little, but I mean, in the scale of a mountain it is. I doubt if a little hole, <laughs> an opening is gonna be modeled in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but hey, we never know, you never know. So, all right, climbing up nicely. Here we go. We are moving in to our valley right off the, the low spot there that's the pass we're going to go over and then right kind of where that v is right off the nose that is where martin's lock is at probably come up here and maybe even slow down a little bit let everybody even though it doesn't show anybody <laughs> in the cabin there we'll go ahead and slow down here just a little bit getting a little bit of of wind action but let people take pictures so we don't just go zooming by here so it looks like we've got we got some some room to spare so I'm going to go ahead and come back on the power here a little start slowing down here let everybody take pictures of Martin's Martin's lock slow down hold our altitude here looks like we've got looks like we've got probably enough altitude here to clear that pass just zoom right over the top of we'll give him a little give him a little you know a little excitement here <laughs> a little excitement in the fly as we just go right over that pass you see right there so we're gonna go ahead and kind of make a turn here a little bit to the right but yeah I don't see a hole over here to the left in that cliff's face now we've got a little bit of a downdraft here Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, what the, what? If you would like more information on the Fallen Eagle flight of Hotel Bravo, Hotel Oscar Tango, then please click on the links for more information. Thanks for watching.